Hey everybody, it's Cindy here, and I have been doing a lot of teaching on relationship skills this month, and one of the ones that I wanted to focus in on for today is constant appreciation. Constant appreciation. So I've been t teaching on and did a workshop this week on creating really healthy relationships so healthy that we call them radical relationships because they work so wonderfully well. And one of the qualities of those relationships, in my opinion, is there's a whole lot of constant appreciation going on in the relationship. You see, we humans, we like a lot of um, strokes, don't we? We like to know when we're doing well. We like to hear when we've made a difference. Most people like to be acknowledged for things that they do and uh, <clears throat> in some way anyway, and the, the common, common um, human just gratitude to saying thank you to people can mean so very much, so much. And I think it's kind of an, uh, something that can get lost in the shuffle of life too, especially in our longer term relationships. Now I'm talking about all relationships, parent-child relationships, friendships, colleague relationships, partner-spouse kinds of relationships, siblings, any family relationship, anybody you share, um, you know, uh, seats on an organization or a board or in a club, um, maybe a coach-athlete, athlete-to-coach relationship, Anything like that, anybody you're in relationship, somebody who you hire to do a service for you, um, the waiter or waitress at the restaurant, um, the checkout clerk in the store, everybody, everybody wants appreciation <laughs> and it's good food for the soul. It's good for the person receiving the appreciation and it's really good for those of us who are giving the gratitude. And so... I don't think there's a there's a bad reason to show appreciation to someone and it doesn't have to be, you know, 15 dozen roses every time somebody smiles at you. That's not what I'm talking about. Although if you're someone that believes in grand gestures and that's part of how you show your gratitude or love for someone, okay. But really just just dialing this down to just kind of simple daily life. When someone uh, does something that means a lot to you or means a little to you, point it out and say, thank you so much. Thank you for doing that. Um, you know, I, maybe somebody takes the trash out without you pointing out that it's overflowing. Maybe someone, uh, you know, picks up the gallon of milk that, that you forgot last time you went to the store Maybe someone just calls you up to ask you how your day is. Maybe um, someone who's providing a service for you just really understood your needs and did a good job. Um, whatever is going on, you know, look for things to appreciate because here's a little secret. You're going to make their day for one thing. You're going to make their day when you smile at someone and say, gosh, thanks so much. You did a great job. Or, wow, I wasn't expecting that. Thank you. What a... What a gift that was to me. I can't tell you how much that means to me that you would do that. That just, mm, that feels so good to them. And so the ripple effect, okay, there's some, there's a ripple effect. The ripple effect is you're boosting their, their uh, mood, their, uh, maybe their confidence even. And also you're giving them some sugar, you know, some yum sugar. And then they're more likely to pass that on. They're, they're going to leave your presence, and maybe go on with the rest of their day going, gosh, I I also appreciate that so-and-so did this for me, or I, they're more likely to say thank you to another person, and then that person will, and that person will. See, gratitude is contagious. And then we get everybody feeling gratuitous, everybody happy and feeling appreciative. It's It, it really lifts the energy and the, the spirit of the environment to have people feeling that good. So, and then for you, when you're pointing out, you're noticing people doing things that you appreciate or circumstances that you feel gratuitous about, then that feels like a blessing to you. 
you feel more blessed. I feel blessed all the time because I appreciate everything from the sun coming up in the morning to the birds chirping outside to the the male man or woman um, getting something delivered to me in a timely manner to, uh, you know, I mean, to to domestic duties that someone might get done on my behalf to, you know, great service at a restaurant. I mean, just as it goes on, or a friend thinking of me and sending a little text, um, all kinds of things. And so I, I feel so good all the time because I have blessings around me that I notice. I notice them. And uh, it makes me feel good to share my appreciation to other people. And the other thing is that when, when you spend your life with your, an eye out looking for things to feel gratitude about, um, that's a wonderful way to live. Instead of looking for what's not working, looking for what might be going wrong in the world, but rather seeing uh, how we're surrounded by wonderful things and wonderful opportunities and wonderful people and that people are giving to us all the time that we're receiving often um, and noticing that is, is just a really wonderful way to live. So it's a healthy energy to have within yourself, a warm and happy heart. It reduces stress. It elevates mood. You're less likely to get physically ill or lose sleep or things like that, develop other symptoms that might get in your way in your life with other things. So it's really a wonderful frame of mind to, to remain living in at all times. So I've also seen <clears throat> and heard of stories of people's relationships turning a very positive corner, actually surviving because they start incorporating appreciation. So uh, in other words, I literally heard just last week about a couple who had been married for a long time and their relationship was just going downhill and downhill and downhill. And one of those, one of the partners was thinking about getting a divorce and the therapist challenged that person to just not be extra nice to the spouse, pointing out things that they appreciate and just do it all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. And, um, and the therapist kind of suggested it facetiously. Um, anyway, it's like a little bit longer of a story than I'm going to give you here. But what happened was, is just from doing that, that spouse changed their mind about getting a divorce and stayed married because they started to see all the wonderful things in their spouse. And then pointing them out. And so then the spouse felt better about the other spouse too because they were receiving all this gratitude. And so it softened them. It warmed their hearts and brought them toward one another. So if you have a conflictual relationship with anybody, not just necessarily a spouse or a partner, and you're wondering how to, how to manage that, especially if it's someone that you intend to keep in your life, a, a blood relative, for example, or someone you're working side by side and you don't intend to leave your job, or a neighbor that you live next to and that isn't going to go away and neither are you, things like this, you might shift and go, okay, what can I find to really appreciate about this person? And just look and look and look and look until you find something and keep looking and then start pointing it out when you interact with them and just see how things turn around for you and for them. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, to, so, uh, Go out there and express some appreciation. Be grateful. Be thankful. Catch people being good. Catch people doing things that feel really good to you. And you will get more of it. That will just grow and grow and grow and grow. And uh, I, there's nothing but winners when, when we have constant appreciation. So that's it for today. I hope you're doing well. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.